morning, everybody. Oh, Happy solar eclipse day. We are here at gymnastics, uh, Skylar Hits Gymnastics from 10 until 11. So we are gonna do gymnastics and then we're gonna go home, order pizza, and have a little solar eclipse party at home. I have all of my planner and uh, some notepad of paper just to write down my to-do list because I have a whole lot of stuff that I need to do before Sienna starts school. But, but for right now, we are gonna go to gymnastics. She's got this cute little gymnastics outfit on. Thank you, Evie's mom. She looks adorable. All right, let's go. back from gymnastics I have a whole lot of stuff that I got to do around my house it's an absolute like disaster there's stuff that is literally everywhere but I need to sit down and make a list because uh, my head is not in the game I'm like not focusing I still have to edit and upload my vlog from yesterday so I am going to do that this afternoon I just ordered some La Rosa's pizza actually we didn't get pizza I got two kids chicken tender and fry meals and then one mac and cheese for Skylar kids meal because that's what she wanted uh, so they should be on their way soon, and then we're going to have a little bit of a solar eclipse party. Sienna is decorating, and we're getting ready for that. Right now it is 1146, so we have a little while to get all of our decorations out, and then get all of our snacks and food ready, and just have a fun little party here. Hello! Mom. Be nice to our delivery friends. Which way will the solar eclipse be looking that way or this way? I'm not sure. We're going to have to look it up. So here's what we got for lunch. Two chicken tender and fry meals. It comes with a chocolate milk and some apples. And then Skylar chose the mac and cheese kids meal with chocolate milk and apples. Do you I, love it? I, I picked mm -hmm. this one. I picked this one. You got chocolate all over your face. So we are getting ready for the solar eclipse. It is 12.07. I have no idea because never in my lifetime. Um, I know that I think there was a partial eclipse back in 1991, but I would have been five. So I don't remember that. Um, but I'm excited to see and document what is going to happen. I have no idea if it's going to like go dark from what it sounds like it is. But then like um, some people... Yeah, but some people have said, well, it's supposed no. to be just like cloudy. I'm so confused, but no, so we intrigued. Can, we can play outside. It's, I see. I hope my, I hope my raccoon friends come out to play. Yeah. That really nice one that the really cute cool. baby and it yeah. like stared at me. Yeah, it just like came to the window. I like wanted to feed like it and sheep. mother it. Yeah, I took a picture of it. There's this baby raccoon that came to my back door and it like stared at me through the door with like little tiny like puppy eyes like feed me. I didn't open the door up because I don't trust wild animals but I don't trust any animals. I saved the bee from the pool. Yeah, you did. I picked it up and then I put it down and then I dried it and then I went, go, yeah. go, go. She saved a bee from the pool. Um, what else do I have to tell you? I don't know. I'm really, really excited for this. I'm going to go upstairs right now and hopefully get yesterday's vlog put together so I can get it out. Uh, not too late today. So, kids are still eating. And I'm just chilling. All right, let's go upstairs and edit this vlog. Hi 
I can tell you that I do see a little these actually glasses are really cool because like it's you completely like black out dot. until you look at the sun and then it's a yellow circle and I can see part of the eclipse happening. How yeah. neato. That's really neat. We're now watching it on TV. This is so cool, you guys. I didn't know it was going to be this neat. Oh, this neat. And let's show your fans, okay? Let's show My fans? My yeah. fans, Skylar? My all eight of them? Here. Let's show us. This is so cool. Look at how dark it is there. Is that what it's going to be like here? Uh-huh. Oh my gosh, I can't wait to go outside. These are the times where I love vlogging. I need to tell Jet. Because you and yeah, we need to tell Jet. Should we need to try to make like a fire and go down there while it's happening? No, that's a horrible idea. The sun is starting to get pretty much, it's about halfway covered. This is one of the coolest things I think I will have ever witnessed in my I lifetime. Do you see it? Yeah. It small. You see it, Sienna? Do you need glasses? Mm -hmm. Wow. Where is it? The sun's over here, bud. Very cool. Fair. Super neat. It is starting to get eerily darker. And it's cooler. It feels like nighttime yeah. now. This is weird. This is real weird. I wonder if my if the that, airplanes that get to go there are so long. Yep. Yeah. They get to be like right by it. Yeah. The airplanes get to be right by, right by the sun. They're so 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 lucky. Oh, look at our bud. Oh, look at our baby. It is now two eleven. This is throwing me off completely. I don't know, I'm pretty in touch with like, I'm in tune with my mind and my body and the earth and um, I like astrology, I like all that kind of stuff. And this is really throwing me off. This is some of the, this is probably the weirdest thing that I've ever witnessed before. Look at that plane. It's starting to get like, it's starting to get like, it's like, I don't even know how to explain it. It's like oddly fading outside. It's weird. Let me see. That reaction was... Oh my gosh, it's close, y'all. It's close. It's getting closer. Because it's getting darker outside. It's getting a little bit cooler, too. So cool. Weird, but cool. Where you see it's small. This is so crazy. I don't Hello, even think everyone. this camera's doing it justice of how Hello, everyone. It's eerily dark it's getting. Today, so it's a very, very exciting day today. Go ahead and look at it. So. Very, very small, is it, Mom? Mm -hmm. It is dark. Like, not completely. Now, this camera doesn't really do it justice because it automatically adjusts the light. But, y'all, it is... I mean, it feels like it's like 8.30 at night. So weird. It's getting real close. Oh, man. Raccoon friends live over there. Oh, yeah. yeah, somewhere in there. Somewhere over there. Let me see if I can get it. I kept thinking to myself, is that it? Is that what we were waiting for? 
Talk about talking something up and then it not really happening. Quick heads up, I am making a chicken cordon bleu casserole. I am going to make buttered noodles on the side in case my family wants to put like it, you know, on top. But what you need for this is obviously chicken, some ham that is diced up, some Swiss cheese, a little bit of white wine, some cream cheese, some Dijon mustard, and then some salt and pepper. So this is everything that we need. I'll get it all assembled and cooked and everything, and then I'll show you once it's done when it's in the casserole pan. All right, everybody, I have the mixture made. This is a eight ounce thing of cream cheese, about three tablespoons of Dijon mustard, some salt and pepper, a dollop of butter, and I heated the butter and the cream cheese up in the microwave for about 45 seconds. So that's what that is. And then a little tiny splash of just some white wine. I had this in my refrigerator, so I did a little splash of that. And then I boiled the chicken tenderloins in a pot and just kind of like, I didn't, I don't know, I just took my fork and did something crazy and kind of like just cut it into just chunks. And then I also cut this up into cubes. So the ham's done, the chicken's done, sauce is done. I'm gonna go ahead and put this in the casserole dish and then I'm gonna layer the top with some Swiss cheese. But I'm gonna put the chicken first, then the ham, then the sauce, then the cheese. All right, the chicken cordon bleu, get your nose out of there. The chicken cordon bleu is now assembled and ready. I did chicken, I did ham, I did sauce, and then cheese on top. This is gonna bake at 350 degrees. I have to check to see how much time, but it's 359, so I'm not gonna start this for probably another, probably 30 to 40 minutes, but this is what it looks like. I'm excited to see if this works out and if it's good. All right, here it is completely done. I could have left it in the oven for a little bit longer, but I didn't want the cheese to get too burnt. I wanted it just to be melted. So I let it get slightly brown. And then I also have some salad and I have some buttered noodles. So that'll be our dinner tonight. I'm gonna go ahead and plate it up and show you what it looks like. Is it hot? What do you rate it? It's very good. Good. All right, my kids have gone for, Santa's gone for her third plate. So that definitely must be a keeper recipe. I am waiting for Cody to get home and then I'm gonna head up to my Girl Scout leader meeting, which they have one once a month, which is just a lot. Around, can I come with you? When what? Have to be there. No, there's no kids, it's just for adults. Oh, yeah. yeah, it's just for adult leaders. Um, but it's up at our local library, so it's not too far. It's not too far for me, which is good. But we are gonna go to that. I'm gonna learn some new things. They're gonna pass out some things, and then I'll be on my way. But I wanted to update you on how my day is going, and then I'll come right back home. All right, talk to you guys later. It's me again. We're at the library. I'm about to go in for this Girl Scout meeting, so I'm hopefully going to see you guys when I get back out. But that is what we do, so here we go. All right, I'm gonna go in right now and see what they're up to. All right, bye. Now 8.28, and I'm headed on my way home, and that meeting took a really long time, and then I sat and talked to the other leader of the other third grade Girl Scout troop, Angie, that you guys have seen in my vlogs before. Uh, for about 30 minutes. It got over around 8 o'clock. Well, we could have talked for about 45 minutes. I'm not really sure how long we talked for, but it was for a while. But now, I'm gonna go home, check on my kids. I'm sure they don't have their pajamas on, and maybe eat a little bit more, and then go to bed. So, I wanted to go ahead and end this vlog right here. I hope you all have a wonderful day, and I will see you all, not tomorrow, but the next day. All right, bye everybody.